Yeah, here's here's one of the tweets which I found, which is, I'm, I'm really glad they, they replied because I've been raving on, on on Twitter, trying to find out things about what's, what's going on. And um, basically, what, what seems to seem, one of the things which has happened, I think, uh, that P- Peter Horrocks, who used to be, I think, Vice Chancellor of the Open University, was heavily investing into digital directions. Uh, mostly future learn and uh, was quite happy with the well not happy with the losses he was prepared to invest in it and he was closing down buildings regional centers and there was quite a lot of um, criticism of of this and um, later he resigned and it just seems to me that there wasn't any um, clear statement of what the what the policy what the future policy was going to be so I have been been um, saying this and that on on Twitter and there has been a reply from Open University UCU which I'm I'm, I'm very grateful to them for for replying so this is what they say staff haven't had an update we assume future learn still funded by OU from reserves efforts to seek partners apparently but no news yet so yeah what I know there was a, a Financial Times report last year that they were trying to raise some money um, which is sort of good and bad, I think, because it's obviously then going to become um, a commercial operation to some extent if they if they try and find external funding, depending on where it comes from. So I, d- I don't know how that's going to be because it, it's all very well that um, universities saying, "Oh dear, we we don't really like the the commercial world and um, all this uh, online schemes." They all seem very doubtful. But if it if it turns out it's only the commercial models that invest in it, um, and it works, which I think is what's what's starting to happen. Anyway, sorry, I'm raving off. I'm just reading out this tweet. Mixed staff views, uh, respect for international reach and openness, but unsure about long-term OU benefits. Uh, yeah, I think that from previous tweets and th- I, I think that there's some people who don't. Well, I have doubts about the the fact that Future Learn is a platform used by a lot of universities, not just the Open University. Um, the first degree courses came came a lot from Coventry, uh, for example. But I, I think there are more from the Open University now, and uh, I think that's I think that's just how how it seems to be working. So. Um, edX is a, a United States platform was well, based in the United States on the on the East Coast and there's several UK universities work, working with them uh, there's uh, an announcement about in, Imperial working with Coursera uh, that came out last last week on a machine learning course and I, I think that's just how it is it's all it's, it's all going to be quite mixed up and then the last bit which is a very very good point uh, in brackets with a smile also just to point out no union recognition so that would be interesting to know a bit more about that it would appear future learn no union recognition uh i don't know if anybody's listening who knows any different uh, let us know you can tweet to us uh w-e-n-o-t-n-o and there's a, I'll, I'll just put more th- this is this has been retweeted um in on, yeah, as as W E N O T I know, so you'll you'll find all of these, um, but it started with me com- commenting about buildings, uh, because there's a there's various slides and videos that turn up, and it includes um, one about a global MBA from Macquarie University, and it's it's massively featuring their campus, their buildings. And it just seems totally weird to me why why the campus is so significant. Um, so why why? Uh, so I don't know. The, the, I'm just trying to get an idea of the the the, the comparison of the numbers involved because I think Future Learn has lost about thirty million, maybe a bit more, but that would that would be about one building, I think. I don't know if anybody if anybody knows any any sort of comparisons as to what universities are spending on their on their campus, and and why. 
and especially why um, in Exeter we're spending so much on student accommodation when it's all going to go online, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, I think I must go back to some music. I will rave on a bit more late, later. Uh, I, f I found another Blue Rose Code track. Uh, they are going to be here on, mon on Monday. Uh, this one is called Red Kites. <laughs> 